Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we are back, uh, we're actually back at this house which you saw the video on, I think it was the week before last, where we were rewiring, we're actually rewiring it now. Um, a few people were uh, questioning, does it need rewiring? Trust me, it does. Uh, it's, um, you'll see later in the day, there's just, it, it's easier just to replace what's here than trying to repair it, trying to sort of get into someone's head and work out what they've done. By the time you do that, you might as well just replace what's here. It's just quicker. Um, so we're up in the loft now. Now the reason we are, we're running new cabling in the loft um, because a lot of the cabling was draped over the tops of the joists, which doesn't really work here because they want to put hard, they want to, they want to floor the, the loft. They want to put some hard flooring down. So oh, we've actually just made a start already just while we were off cam. So we just literally run them through the joists like that just to try and neaten it up so they can board over. So yeah, that's a plan of attack up here. We're just trying to, we basically got to reroute all of the wiring here, but it's got to go underneath. It's got to go under, through the joists here because otherwise they're not going to be able to put any flooring down. So let's get set up here. Give us five minutes. We'll get set up and we're back in a bit. Now, there are not many times in these vlogs where I'm going to actively promote how awesome a product is. However, a little company called ITS sent me this. This product is worthy of a mention. Now, some, some of you have seen in my previous videos, I've got a soldering iron, but it's mains, it's a, a mains bolt, yeah, a corded one. Um, and I got in touch with ITS, and, and I've seen they sell this one, which is the Milwaukee 12 volt corded soldering iron. If, let me tell you, I, I got this through, I got this through the post, ITS sent it over to me, and just go and get one, just, uh, Please go and do it. If you do anything to do with LED strips or soldering, you know, the little joints and LED strips and stuff, honest to God, man, this thing, it uses the 12 volt Milwaukee batteries with the rest of the gear. And it is, it's just brilliant. It is such a good bit of kit. You've got a battery level indicator, which is actually flat because typically Tom was using it last. Um, and it's just a little LED work light on the front but it is so good. The heat up time on it is fantastic. I think from heating it up, from switching it on to heating it up fully, I think it's something like 20, 30 seconds. It's oh yeah, super phenomenally quick. quick. Um, and it is just, it's such a versatile tool. You know, it is just for small, delicate, intricate work, like with LED strips and stuff, it's, it's fantastic. It oh, is yeah. just the best tool. I, now when I got this, I sent, I got in touch with ITS and said, look, this is really good. What ITS have done, there's a £10 discount code. So if you want to buy this, if you, I'm gonna, I can't actually remember, I think the discount code is IT, no, Tom Solder, I think it is. Um, I'll, leave, I'll leave it here on screen, all right? Use that discount code on the ITS website and you'll get a tenner off this purchase, all right? Um, and it comes with one battery, it comes with the, it comes with, it comes with a fast charger, case, soldering iron and one battery. Um, honestly, just it is an amazing bit of kit. I, we're going to keep on using it because I've got a load of soldering to do. I'll keep you posted on how I'm getting on with it, but so far I've used it twice and it is a fantastic bit of kit. Okay, all right. We've got to chip these out. So what we've got to do, Tom's upstairs. He's just drilling his way through the joists up there just to make way so we can sink them in so they can board the loft. So we've got to chip these out anyway because I need to, I want to put some, uh, I want to put some capping in, which does remind me actually, I didn't think it would create as much of an argument as it, as it not an argument as such, but it created a, a debate over whether you should use capping or pipe when you're, you know, when you're putting cabling in the wall. I've, uh, I mean, personally, I don't, it was literally, it was 50-50, half of you were saying use capping, half of you were saying use the oval pipe. I don't know, I mean, personally, I don't think it makes any difference. I think they're, just, they're both, if you're using twin and earth, I think it's just as difficult to pull through capping as it is to pull through an oval pipe, especially if you've got two 2.5s through an oval pipe. I mean, it's, you know, it's just, it's going to be just as hard, I think. So I don't think it makes any difference what you're using. It's, the main thing is you use something. Um, so anyway, I've got to chip these out. Now the reason it's going to be easier for us just to rewire it, A, because this is piss poor here anyway, which also reminds me actually, a very small percentage of you, and we are talking a small percentage, we're under the impression that by rewiring this place, we were uh, extorting money out of the client, shall we say. And we are talking a very small percentage. I think something like 60,000 people viewed that video, and I think I had about four people who, who had the same sort of 
opinion. If you do a job like this, if you're, if, you're, if you're taking over from something that somebody else has done, which isn't nice at the best of times, because it, it is, there's always problems and issues, because you've got to try and wrap your head around what somebody else has done. But this is a classic example, right? If we'd have come in and just replaced the face plates and just and we just replaced some of a bit of the cabling that needed it, the worst affected stuff, and you just hopped in your van and driven away, the problem is at the end of it, you've got to issue a certificate, and you're not issuing an EICR, you know, because EICRs don't account for cables in walls, above ceilings, and you know, floor spaces, stuff you can't see. A normal electrical certificate it, inc it encapsulates everything. Now I've just chipped away just a little bit of this here, you know. You know, easy to, I mean, look at the amount of shit that's there, you know. But if you, it'd be very easy if that was just, you know, if I hadn't have chipped away at that, you probably wouldn't have seen that. And if you were in a hurry, it's easy to overlook it. And I don't, you know, for all I know, it's probably a, a set of way goes buried in there, most likely. I, you know, I don't know. But personally, I think the only person who was, who's conning the client is the person who did this in the first place because it's short-sighted, you know. It's, the best way I can describe it is it's like flying a plane and timing it so that just as you hit the runway you'd run out of fuel because that's that's what it is it's such a short-sighted you know you're using hope as a tactic you know you're sort of hoping people aren't going to see or hope you know it's hope as a tactic and it's just a it's such a short-sighted way to work it's just not it's not worth it you know so that's why i'm rewiring it because it's just not worth you know it's just not worth it you might as well just rewire it for this the amount of time it takes to to try and uh, sort shit out, it's easier just to rewire it. So, anyway, two minutes. Let me sort this out and we'll be back. I haven't got to the mask yet, but I am wearing goggles now, or specs, whatever you want to call them. I'm listening, everybody. All right. I saw that film last night, Deepwater Horizon. If anybody hasn't seen it, watch it. It is it's stunningly good film. Properly good. I watched, it was a true story, and I watched it thinking, ah, oh, while well, I was looking through Amazon or Netflix, whatever it was. And I was looking through it, and I saw, I saw it, and I was like, mm, true story. Mm, they're normally not that interesting. It's properly good. Well worth a watch. And that was the other thing. Of course, all the accessories and stuff, the backs of them were like that. I mean, how do you... How do you salvage that, you know? So you've got to sort of go around and start replacing all the accessories, which, yeah, is what it is. Well, if you did buy MK USB sockets, you did buy some. They seem quite nice. They're quite bulky, though, but they do seem quite nice. I heard a rumour that there was an isolator switch on these to isolate the USB ports. I did hear that, but it's obviously only a rumour because I can't see one. It would be handy if manufacturers did make, why can't they, when they make a double socket like this with USB ports in it, why can't they just have a toggle switch, like an on and off switch for the USB ports? Like a little double pole switch or something, or figure out, I don't know. But it's something to isolate the transformer and the USB side, so that if you're doing testing and stuff, just flick the switch, turns it off, nice and easy. I don't, I don't know why no one's done that yet. I'd pay more for it, it'd be, it, for the amount of hassle it would save, I don't know why they haven't, I don't know. So if anyone, if manufacturers are listening, take note, it would be a good thing, I think, to fit. I mean, I guess it's down to space, how much you've got to take up more space in the socket, but if you're fitting a, a 47 mil bat box, I guess it's not an issue, you know? it's. You just make the you just make it bigger. It fits in a 47 mil box. So, but anyway, what do I know? I'm going to miss this van when it goes. Raffles on the 5th of November. I'm going to miss it. I've had that since new. What's that? Nine years now. It's not the neatest inside, I'll be honest. But just when you're running between jobs, <laughs> trying to keep a wagon clean is so hard. Oh, 2.5. 2.5, no, got no one mil. All right, that answers that question. Down to screw fix. See you later. That's, me. That's great, thank you very much, see you later. I try not to go out during the day because it just, it eats so much time on the job. Doesn't matter if it's like five minutes around the corner, it's always half an hour you're gone. All right, had I been more organized, you can do this sort of stuff. You know, if you go home in the evening or something and you just order everything up and get it delivered the next day, but it's just, by the time you get home, you just want to go to bed. 
I guarantee Tom is going to make a comment of how fast I've been. You watch. Hi. Tom. No, he's not even here. Tom. Oh, there you are. Hello, mate. Hello, Tom. <laughs> right, there you go. Oh, cool. All right. All them lights are done now, by the way. Yeah. All them ones are done, completely. Oh, fair shout. All right. What, like terminated? Yeah. Oh, f me. What am I? I don't think you're getting a pay rise yet, mate. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are, I think we're about five o'clock on Friday now, so Tom's just upstairs clipping the cabling in. These are the new runs which have gone in, so we've just got our capping on now. Uh, I've dug these out a little bit deeper because they were, these boxes were proud of the surface, so I've just, I've set them back a little bit. So that's one. Next one there, um, same thing again. I've used deeper boxes in here because they've got um, the V-Pro dimmers going in. So I know the cap is short, but I, I will sort it. I just, it's that thing, when cap is short, you put it up, but you don't want to, I don't want to waste it. So you just sort of end up you put those bits in, I have to lay another piece over. In fact, I've done it in here. That one there where I've just laid it over each other. I've just doubled the capping up, but yeah, that's as far as we've got in here. I have run out of, I've run out of metal boxes, so I need to go and get some more, but that can wait till Monday, so. And then up in the loft, we're now on cable clipping duty at the moment. So we've run in, they are all in now, aren't they? All of the- Yeah, it's all done. The wiring is all, yeah, it's all in. It's all been running through the joists and everything. Um, it's just a question of clipping it all in now, so. We're going to get on with that, so we're back in five minutes. These little back boxes, we just found them upstairs, just in the floorboards in the loft. You can tell these are, well, it says here, where necessary, this accessory complies with regulation 1975. So it's, you know, like a 30 year old, still in sealed condition. If you want it, bid below. I've got another one. I've got a one inch D, it is old school actually, they're in inches here. So, yeah, it's funny the stuff you find in lofts. That just reminded me. I'll take that out before I slice my fingers off. <laughs> this uh, this grinder, I have. I mean, I've had it. I don't know, two years. I mean, I've used it a fair bit, but I wouldn't say I've abused it. You know, it's, I've used it, but not mistreated it. But we have noticed. Tom mentioned it on site the other day. That sounds rough as rats, and I think it's going to die shortly because. That's not right, it should, that should not sound like that. So I've got a feeling that this is gonna die soon. So Big Clive, this is gonna be coming to you for a tear down to diagnose what it is that actually died inside it. So yeah, when it happens, you'll be getting this in the mail, mate. So morbid. You're holding it in this hat, and it's, it's got feelings. It's got feelings, yeah, but I mean- You're just saying that when you die, don't worry, you're gonna get autopsies Yeah, it's gonna Clive. get a special Big Clive send off. That reminds me, uh, these two bits here, which was on a giveaway a couple of weeks back, I haven't got around to actually announcing the winner, so I'm going to put it up here on the screen now, okay? So that person there, get in touch with me, give me your address, and I'll send these out to you. I tell a lie, I said they were brand new. I was caught short on a job, and I had to use, I had to use the snips. So they've, they have been used once, but they're, they're still new, all right? So yeah, that person there, you've won. Get in touch with me, and I'll send them out to you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is about all we've got time for. So if you are of the opinion that you want to subscribe to this pokey little vlog, click in this corner. Patron is up here. Uh, if you want to watch another video, down here. Comments down the bottom. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in a week's time. <laughs>